What's going on guys, White Exotics here. Welcome back to another video with me. So I've been putting this unit together at self-assembly in preparation for what's arriving tomorrow, which is a Bio Orb 60 liters, I think it is, air. Kind of like these units, it's self-contained. It will mist, it will uh, regulate humidity and plants can grow in it. There is actually one more type of vivarium I want to get guys and again all of these vivariums are in the 300 plus price point I actually think they've discontinued these now and I'm not sure if they're going to reissue them in the future anyway so I picked one that I could actually put a lot of weight on it to support it and um, I tested this by doing this in the shops <laughs> now I'm uh, 100 kilos so there's going to be no tanks that are going to be weighing the same amount as me so it should be good now the other tank guys the in situ ecosystems is basically another kind of biopod i don't think it has an app on it so um i will be getting one of those in the near future as well but anyway guys i'm going to place this now here tomorrow we'll flip through so the place is cleared i hope you guys like my jurassic park bag and uh yeah we're ready to situate it here i quite like it on this side actually or i could have it facing outwards so like this, and um, yeah, obviously the bio orb is going to be on top of it. Should be almost equal height to this one because it's quite a big tank. So yeah, it's either going to be like this or facing out, guys. I'm definitely feeling it having outwards like this. The drawer is more usable. I have a side cabinet there. So yeah, next clip will be of the bio orb unboxing. All right, guys, it's here, so let's get it unboxed. got numbers on it, so there's one here. I presume that's the order in which you put everything together. So we'll take this out. Two, three, four. And finally, here's the unit. Quite light, actually. I do uh, watch some reviews, and they said it was made out of an acrylic. So yeah, it's, an, it's a kind of acrylic. I guess this blue is uh, tape, so yeah, nothing like the vinyl bar, which is very heavy, full of glass. Right Just gonna head upstairs real quick to grab a drink. This is the second uh, thing I put together today. So this thing took up most of my day. It's a self-assembly cabinet, which is here. So yeah, just need to put the glass sections in there. I may actually end up getting one of these for the reptile room because they are quite cool when they're finished. Um, yeah, once that's moved into place, then we'll have the shelves. I think this calls for an energy drink. I'm knackered today. Okay, we're back in. I'm just gonna put some lighting on in here, guys. There we go. All right, picking up where I left off. That's what it's going to look like, guys. Although it's not dead center, it's pretty close. Yeah, it looks good there. I think that's where the final place I'm going to have it. All right, let's get it set up. <laughs> well, this doesn't help. Look at the instructions, they're all in Japanese. But I've seen some videos, I think I can work out how to do this. guys that's off now looking at here there's a couple of bottles of liquid this one is a humidist humidimist so i guess that goes in the top and there is another bottle of liquid in this one here so we're going to check that in a second let's just open this one okay that's the top of the filter 
or maybe actually no, this one's the base okay yeah so this is going to sit in the base and there is a mat that's going to go on this now we're into number two and that's the second part of the base so that's what these contain and a second bottle of Humidimist. you can probably buy this online and look in here there's the front cover of the orb i think it's a really nice product it's um Unique, that's for sure, especially with the shape of it. They do do this in the aquarium version, but I just think the terrarium setup one is ideal. And I'll be keeping um, a burrowing tarantula in this one. So I've got to try and set it up so there's enough mud that you can burrow and also uh, some room for the greenery. That's the way I'm gonna be doing this, rather than putting in a hair flicker <laughs> and then getting itched every time I try and modify things in here. So this just clips on here. There we go, one. It's a bit hard to do it with one hand, but one clips over, one clips under. So that's how to get it to work. And there we go, that's the base. Now we're gonna have a cloth to go on here. I'd imagine that's in number three. That's four, three. Now, the cool thing about these guys is most of the guts is gonna be contained in the top end of the device. You've obviously got the humidifier uh, cup and stuff that's at the bottom with the reservoir. But other than that, it's all done from the top. So very easy to change parts. If something goes wrong with this, let's open number three. Aha, we have a proper instructions manual for this. That's good to know. And this looks like the mat. Now I've seen this being green in, in most people's bio orbs, so that's interesting. Maybe they've changed it. Now this thing goes over this side, so that's the side without the groove uh, of this cylinder groove, which obviously plugs in the bottom. And then these spindles um, and straps go over here, so let's do that now. I think it's gonna to have to go in first before I actually put that together. Now, guys, I'm relieved to know they do actually have proper instructions here in the booklet, so <laughs> it's good to know. And because these are acrylic, they're gonna be notoriously easy to scratch, so you've gotta put it somewhere that's not gonna be near any sharp objects or anywhere that someone can knock it. I'll take this off now. a little fiddle with this guys right it's just this section that comes out here and then you've got an open hole to get inside the device now this obviously has to go back apart for me to put back in but luckily you can just fold it even after you've assembled it so we'll drop that through and now it just goes in alignment we've got the groove that just slots on there And then this piece here just goes on top to close off the groove. And yeah, it's interesting guys, in my model, it's actually black rather than the bluey green cloth that most people get. So yeah, we just put this bit on here now. There we go, that's secured and in place. And the box that I opened just contained the power plug and a couple of other converters, just in case you're in America or, or European. So, put that there for one second. I think it's nearly ready to go, actually, and then we'll start setting the device up. So just move this down. Two finished, three is empty, and just four to go. Number four contains a filter. And that's just going to plug into the top. You see on the, on the top here. Let me move this up. And you see in the lid there is an empty recess for the filter to plug into. Put this down here for a second. <laughs> Guys, I'm a bit gutted here. In number four, it has a quire block. I actually just went out and bought some of this yesterday, just in preparation for for setting this up. Now, obviously, one is probably not going to be enough considering I'm keeping a burrower in here, so I definitely needed a second, but I don't think I needed the third. I had these from yesterday. 
We have a little bit of bark and some other bits, but I'm going to try and raid a couple of my other setups that have got overgrowth plants just to kit this thing out. Um, I did buy a couple of aquatic type plants for it though. And they should thrive in here because it's going to be quite humid, but again, that's just going to be remaining to be seen. Um, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. But they are designed to be aquatic. <laughs> yeah, there we go, two bricks. Okay, we'll set that up in a minute. And just because of OCD reasons, we can put these back in order. <laughs> Some kind of order obviously if you're unboxing one of these make sure you check guys that you've emptied it okay, closing the lid here now and then we're going to remove this section and pop the filter in here guys there we go that's in and then i imagine putting the water mist in here now. So I'm just gonna quick check the instructions. There we go, so the choir blocks are now dissolved in here with water. So this one is the bio orb choir, this one is the cocoa fiber block, and I think I need a little bit more here for this one, but pretty much the same stuff to be honest. You can't tell them apart. And according to this, the next step is to put the soil in, so I'm gonna do that now. Once again, this part's going to come out. We're obviously going to fill this reservoir towards the end. It's starting to fog up now, but we're almost there. That's both of the choir blocks in there, guys. And I think I may keep it this way, or I may put a third one in there. I'm debating what tarantula species to put in here, but I think a king baboon. And then I can just sort of bank up the mud towards the back. He can do his burrow in the back there, and then I can maybe spin it if I want to see his burrow. But yeah, that's what I may do, guys. So let's see. So that's all the substrate done. Now it's time to actually skate this thing. I'm gonna use some bark on the back and we'll get some plants on here. And I think that should weather any extra humidity that's gonna be in here. So we'll place this towards the back and I'll shuffle it out anyway. As and when I'm ready. I have some of this stuff. I think we're gonna plant this one first. So I've placed that nearer the front. With this stuff, it's basically like a kind of moss and uh, it's recommended you split it into sections and then plant those where you need to, which will then widen and grow and spread over time. Now with this uh, moss type plant, I've actually chosen to separate a piece off and then just open this bit out. It's just gonna sit along the back here. Just like that. In fact, I may end up just shuffling it towards the end of the project. Now this guy ended up coming out of my biopod where it was overgrowing and I just took it straight out by the roots. So it's ready to plant straight in here. Um, that looks like a separate piece actually that will grow on its own. So we'll take that off. And maybe this bit as well. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So for the bigger piece, it's gonna to go towards the back end here. I have another piece of bark here. This one's really nicely shaped actually. And um, yeah, I'm going to just poach bits from my other tanks to make this full setup, and eventually maybe change it over the next couple of weeks just to see how it does, um, which I obviously will be posting updates on guys. So this can sit in the back here somewhere. There's a nice piece actually. Could even go upright and against the um, display. We'll try and just sink that in there. So I found this piece that's really nice, um, <laughs> funny enough. As I mentioned earlier, you've got to be careful with it because obviously it's acrylic 
Uh, luckily I just knocked the reservoir. I'm just gonna set that down here like this. So that creates a really nice gradient in the tank, as you can see. And we'll shuffle and readjust this after I'm finished with it. This is a bromeliad pup that I've taken off with a nice healthy root system. So I'm just gonna plant that somewhere knowing that it turns into quite a nice blooming flower. And I'm just gonna put that, I think somewhere in here would be pretty good. It would be nice if it came through the bark, but uh, I'm not sure. I think that might be wishful thinking. So I'm just gonna place it here for now. It'd be a nice place for it to come out in a way and grow. Be interesting to see if that actually ends up taking and doing pretty well. Okay, guys, luckily I checked my biopod and the uh, spider plant here, some kind of spider plant, obviously not too good with plants, so I couldn't tell you exactly, has split and uh, it has a nice root system here with it, so I just took that out. I've also got some pillow moss here and another kind of plant from one of my other vivariums. Again, not sure what species it is, but these are the miniature kind. So let's get there to see them. And they're now in here. So I put the spider plant towards the right side. I just need some other plants that are taller for the back, but we'll get the lights on in a minute, guys, because it's kind of annoying seeing my reflection in the background here. Sam and Pink's being busy today, webbing up. So the next step is at the side of the unit, it needs to be filled up with a little bit of water in here, which needs to trickle through. And there is actually a level here, this plastic tube. Now this wants to be three quarters filled, so about here. And it did actually pop out on me, so I just had to pop it back in. Anyway, I'm going to add this to the side of the terrarium now. That should be enough. Guys, I'm using a very soft microfiber cloth to clean this off with. And um, I did accidentally just put a very minor scratch in the unit when I was cleaning with my nails. So be very careful when you're working with this because the acrylic scratches it very easily. Um, and the other thing is I noticed a few other imperfections on the model. So yeah, uh, I guess there's nothing you can do about that. It's just the way it is. Okay, it's time to actually power this thing on. <laughs> I've been doing all the setting up. Uh, it's gonna be good to see what it looks like with the light. So plugged it in here and it's plugged into the back of the unit. There we go. Now we switch him on. Very nice, look at that. And the lighting is actually really good. So I'm gonna check all the functions out afterwards, guys, but so far, very chuffed with how this is looking. Awesome. Right now, guys, I've saved this step for last because basically I need to get the spider in here first before I actually fill the reservoir. So I'm gonna take this out, put the spider in, then we're gonna fill the reservoir. Normally you would do that step first. 
So it's gonna come back out, rest in here, and I'll go get the spider now. Right, I've rustled up some giant orange isopods, and I hate to say it guys, but we're gonna make the terrarium bioactive. Um, now it's always bioactive anyway if it's got plants in it, but these guys will clean up any detritus, any dead leaves and fungus they, they're gonna take care of. So I'll put those in now. Hopefully they'll establish a colony. There's about nine of them there. So I'm trying to work out which species to put in here. We have two that I'm between. This is a Histocrati species. Uh, this one is a Palinobius muticus, the king baboon. Both from Africa, both very similar and both very bad tempered. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm quite partial to the colors of this one. So maybe we'll go with this. Or if I do put a Histocrati, it's gonna be a bigger one. Now guys, I've got a lot of choice here for which tarantula they could go in. I know they all look kind of similar, but all of my Histocrates are getting humongous now. So this one here's about seven inches. This one here's about seven and a bit inches. Obviously next to a nine inch um, tarantula. They look, they're gonna look kind of small, but still these are huge, huge spiders. So yeah, it's just a case of working out which one I put in there. And this guy in here looks pretty hungry, so we're going to see if he's brave enough to take a locust. As you can see, he's just shed recently. See, he is a definite female, so let's see if he'll go for the locust. Whoa, there we go. Look at that. Nice big meal for him. For her. So, should I say sorry? And yeah, going to be looking forward to seeing these things eating at night in the bio orb. It's going to be interesting because I don't think anyone's really used one for a tarantula setup before. But I like to do different things, as you can see by my biopod setups. So in she goes, back to the burrow. Right, let's get on with it anyway, guys. Okay, guys, I added an orchid to soften it. So this is one of my bigger ones. I'm going to add this one to the tank. don't really know the easiest way of doing this because of the shape of it so I'm just gonna have to try and coax the spider in gently so it's now pretty much complete I've just added the orchid in there as the final touch and there's the spider so hopefully it makes its way to the back of the vivarium terrarium whatever you want to call it and makes its burrow in there i'm a bit worried because this is so easy to scratch i've actually just scratched it a couple of times setting this up and you know when the spiders dig they do actually dig with their fangs so hopefully she does it at the back of the tank now overall guys very pleased with the way it looks we're going to get the reservoir filled up now right, while well, we fill it with the humidity mist from biwarb so you can actually order this stuff online And yeah, let's set it up and see what happens. Okay, and we'll replace the lid. And that's in there nice and snug. That can go back on. Ah, it's this way. I think I took too much cable out, so we just pull this cable loose a bit. I did wonder why there was extra cable. So that just sort of slots round it fits and there we go that's now in right let's um, have a look at the features of the biopod and see bio orb sorry and see if I can get it working so at the back of the unit here we've got this switch just to quickly show you that so it's just there and you just press that in and now we have fog which is pretty cool there was a dimmer function on the back there too which I haven't quite worked out how to use oh but yeah Absolutely brilliant guys, look at this. Really chuffed with how it looks. Very, very nice display piece. Obviously quite expensive for what you get because acrylic, but yeah, just in terms of displayability, this unit looks great. So just turn them around a little bit. So it sits there. And there we go. 